Ace Money the name, getting paid by the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BNE with handicappers. So it's the SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. Um, I mean, it's money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. We got our NBA today. Uh, it's October 30th. A bunch of games, big slate. Uh, went through a bunch of them, and uh, this is what I came up with. First up, uh, Toronto game. Uh, Scotty Barnes just ruled out a little bit ago when I was doing the research. I found this play before that, too, but it might change. Uh, uh, Gabaji, shooting guard, points over nine and a half. Now, big discrepancy in the books, minus 135 on FanDuel. 160 Jeff Kings minus 265 on Caesars. Uh, don't really know why, but help me lead in the pick in this. Uh, opened at 11 and a half, went to 10 and a half, 11 and a half. I all lined it. Uh, if you can, always all line it. If you ever notice, uh, Books are always right on and spot on, so you always win by a little, lose by a little. If you go alt line it, it gives you an advantage. But uh, he's cleared this three out of the four games this year. Uh, he's playing a decent amount of minutes, uh, averaging 27. So uh, give him an opportunity. I never played him before. I really don't know who he is, to be honest with you. Just, uh, they played twice head-to-head -head going back to last year. He cleared it once, but the one time he didn't, he only played 15 minutes, and he did have a couple points. So uh, should be good to go. Uh, it says he should get some more minutes too. So uh, nine and a half is five baskets, you know what I mean? Should be all right. Uh, Charlotte to the shooting guard, they are ranked seventh. Right now, but uh, overall ranked twenty second. But uh, he's shooting pretty decent. He's cleared it. One game he had almost 20, 12, 15. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna give him a shot. Let's get it. Half minus one ten. Fanduel discrepancies across the board again. Not as big though. Uh, 115, 120, 130, 140. Got to have multiple books. Uh, they're playing Philly, Detroit at Philly. It's cleared this uh, all four games. Uh, shooting guard, Philly ranked overall 22nd in rebounds. The shooting guard is ranked 8th. Uh, he's playing uh, averaging 31 minutes so far. Some games a little more, a little bit less. Getting a decent amount of rebound chances. Kind of the rule of thumb is you want to cut that in half. So uh, he's right where he needs to be. Head to head. This goes back to last year. He's cleared his two out of three times. The one time they didn't clear it, uh, he only played 21 minutes. He's exceeded three and a half in uh, four of his last five. Just getting over it, but uh, that's all we need, right? So yeah, let's get it. Jaden Ivory, three and a half rebounds. Let's go. to go with his rebounds over four and a half um, lines a little up a little down um, and four is at 130 right now I got it at like 140 it happens uh, for the year so far three out of three uh, plenty last game 12 uh, I didn't watch it but I'm sure it was fast paced uh, a lot of shots uh, I don't expect him to get that much, but as you see, he's been going over it. Uh, good amount of minutes, 36, 37. 
offensive and defensive. Uh, plenty of chances. Uh, exceeded four and a half. Four was last five, averaging seven. So, uh, yeah, jumped out at me for sure. Uh, Detroit overall ranked 13th. I think he's a guard, right? Uh, small forward. Yeah, rebounds ranked 21st to the small forward. So, uh, all signs point to go. Uh, there was a few other things I liked with him. I was juggling his points, points and rebounds, but uh, I don't know, rebound, decided to just go with rebounds. Head to head, 75%. Uh, mind you, he was still on the other team last year, though. They played it three out of four. One time he didn't, he only played 20 minutes. So, uh, yeah, let's get it. Martin. Martin. Uh, Yabasula. Gabagola. Yabasula. Rebounds over three and a half. Uh, we get it at minus 140. DraftKings. Big discrepancies once again 155, 160, 190. Uh, rebounds over three and a half for the year. Three games, cleared this. Uh, two, he just got over it. Last game, he had six versus Indiana, which uh, we saw with the last guy. He uh, had a lot of rebounds versus him as well, so there must have been a lot of missed shots. Uh, overall, ranked 13th. Rebounds allowed. Power forward, ranked 21st. So... Uh, there's a rebound chances. Like I said earlier, like kind of rule of thumb we go by is I uh, cut them in half. Uh, so it's pretty good odds, right? Um, minutes ain't that crazy. Averaging just about 18. Does catch some fouls, so hopefully that doesn't become a problem. But uh, look good to me, three and a half. Uh, he's probably a rookie or his first time in the league. There's no other data head to head. I really don't have too much info on him. Just going off this uh, this data here. Should be good to go. Let's get it. Yabagul, Yabagul, Gabagul. Anthony Davis points over 24 and a half. Uh, odds changed. I got a, a, like minus 145, I think. It's minus 150, 160, 170, minus 180. Uh, you see how they got two different ones for FanDuel. I've said this before, but they uh, some books will have 25, 24 and a half or uh, 25 plus, and the odds will be different. It's not all the time, so always make sure you check. Books are shisty like that, but you can also find better better odds sometimes. Uh, they got his line at 27, went down 24 and a half, then just went up to 25 and a half. Uh, he's been a dog, killing it, uh, easily clearing this all four games. Uh, like I said earlier with that... Uh, I was going over the lines, playing the Cavs. I know it's just LeBron going back, but, uh, you know, his team's going to ride for him. Uh, they've been doing real well. J.J. Redick is the coach, uh, feeding him the ball. He's just been a monster. Uh, I would play it at 25 and a half as well, but get it as low as you can. Uh, plenty of minutes. Shoot 54%. Uh, a couple of threes here and there, not really though. Eighty-two percent from the foul line. Uh, should be easy go. Uh, Cleveland overall seventh. Got good defense. Uh, they got him as a power forward, but I think he's been playing the five. But either way, he's gonna go over this. 
So yeah, let's get it. AD, do me right. New viewers, subscribe and let's turn on the notifications so you get all my plays, my live bets, anything I do, I try to give them to you. Uh, keep it as transparent as possible. If you got any extra time, if you could leave a comment, likes and comments help get the videos out there, as well as there's some interaction between us. Uh, I've been YouTube in a couple months now, I'm trying to get the subscriptions up there. Uh, I don't get paid for this, so the like comments and stuff, uh, you know, kind of keeps me involved, makes it worth it. You uh, know, I appreciate everyone who does. Uh, Rui Hachimura rebounds over five and a half. Uh, it's been playing real well this year. Minus one thirty Fanduel. Big discrepancies once again: forty-five, fifty-five, sixty. So make sure you get it at the lowest you can. Uh, it's been clearing this three out of four. Going up, uh, he is a power forward. Uh, Cleveland, supposedly a good, good uh, rebounding team overall, tenth power forward. They rank fourth. I'm not worried by that though. Um, he's been playing real well. He's had his rebound chances. His last four games, uh, I don't have this one. He's been getting offensive and defensive. He's been real active. Uh, this year, his minutes did go up. His last four games, he averaged 36. So uh, it's definitely much improved since last year. Last year, a good play for him was first quarter. They would get it at two and a half, and uh, he'd always hit a three. They run this play. They still kind of do it, run a play for him, and he hits this three right off the rip. But uh, they got his line, I think, at four and a half right now, first quarter. Head-to-head, uh, -head, he didn't go over this last year. He only played 27 minutes. He's averaging 10 more minutes than that now. So uh, it should be all right. I'm not really worried. He's been out there acting up. Uh, it could go a couple of different ways with him if he wanted. He's been scoring. Played his points line, three of the four. You can do points and rebounds if you wanted, or just the points. Uh, I decided to go with rebounds. So let's get it. Rui Hachimura rebounds over four and a half. All right, next up, I went with uh, Austin Reeves. I did assists over four and a half. Out of a minus 130. A little discrepancy. Bet MGM got it at 110. Said um, so he got a little thigh injury, but he should be good to go. Uh, the more I'm looking at this, is a little uh, hesitant. I already bet it, though. Um, I guess we'll walk through it together. The sis over four and a half. Now, He's cleared this two out of the four. His minutes have gone uh, way up this year. 36. He's averaging. Head to head. I think this is what pushed it. Uh, he had 10 and 6. Two different times. Two totally different times they played. So even though they're saying assist overall ranks sixth to shooting guard, ranks second, he seems to uh to get some assists. The other one I was looking at was his rebounds. Uh, for the year, he's been doing pretty well with it as well. Three out of the four, basically doubling his number. He had nine, uh, seven, and eight. So, uh, or you can do rebounds and assists. They got it at nine and a half plus money. He's cleared this all four games. Um, you do head to head. This goes back to last year. I think this is why I went with just the uh, assist. 
Of course, he had five rebounds and then two rebounds, but he cleared both of them with his assist. I think that's what made me go to just the assist. But uh, that's what I played, the assist over uh, four and a half. Uh, he's been playing real well. I mean, it's the beginning of the year. Seems like he put a little weight on. Uh, he had his spurts last year and the year before. But, uh, I think it should be good to go. I mean, I put the money on it already. So, yeah, head to head, good. And then he cleared it three out of three out of four, two out of four. So, uh, a lot of potential assists, too. So, maybe guys just weren't hitting shots, and hopefully that changes today. But, yeah, that's how it went. All right. So, uh, yeah, yesterday was a rough day. Today, we're going to bounce back like a basketball. Uh, ace money to name. Getting paper to game. Let's go. 